Okay, there's one. I gotta get him to run. Oh, that was a bad flash. I don't know where the other guy went. But we need... Just the Taz. I'm not I don't know if I'm like cool with the Taz. I'll take it for now though. Better than nothing. There he is. Saga, this might be bad. Throwing another flash. Where is he going? I've never seen him go up here. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen him go here. Ever in my Tarkov career. What the hell, man? The guns that I use in my raids have to be found through melee kills. And then from there, we can super mod them up as much as I want and just like work with it. So for the example, if we get this out, we'll do a fully modded like Saiga AP-20 slugger rifle. Or like a Vepper Hunter with like a dovetail or um, you know what? Like yeah, there's, there's stuff you can do like ADARs. We got a couple ADARs yesterday. Fully modified ADARs. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just something different. Should be some... Oh! Stab. Every second, and the streams are easing me back into normal life. Twelve months already, dude. Oof. <laughs> I was gonna go for the melee attack, but. I'd say we're good. So because I sort of did a Saiga in the last episode, all my viewers were saying, what about a thermal shotgun? And I delivered. So we're gonna be putting a Reap IR on a Saiga 12, and this is what happened. Yeah. Doesn't look bad on stream. Well, it, it doesn't look horrible, but what happens is the shadows are extra dark. Yep. <clears throat> I think for me, it's a really like, oh God. Um Oh god. Ow. That fucked me up. What the fuck? All right. Well, that's not good. Not ideal. All right. I'm sure you're aware of this, but the EFT subreddit is a cesspool. Hey, man, I actually liked the EFT subreddit for a little while. They, uh, I felt like they weren't so bad. Is this another Saiga? Oh, my God. This is just going to be the fucking day of the sagas. 
Um, I'm more of like a wiki guy myself. But I do go to the subreddit when it comes to patch notes and all that sort of stuff. But I don't really contribute that much because I think... Like, and, and this is fair. I think... I don't. Like, so I'm not saying this is unfair. I think this is fair that... Um, a lot of communities like forums and subreddits and stuff like that, they don't really like YouTubers and content creators. And I think we've brought that on ourselves. And maybe not the big guys that brought it on, but like the people that are aspiring YouTubers, streamers, all that type of stuff has sort of ruined the reputation of us. Like we do have that reputation of being like an elite status of gamer. And, um, and I think that's totally fair. So... That guy had something. So, in my opinion, I don't really hang out in those locations because sometimes, um, you know, I'll, I'll eat a lot of shit. That uh, sometimes, you know, I'll take it for the community in general, you know? Oh, yeah, that guy's got some stuff. Hey, yo, Max, what's going on, man? Sup, dudes. Wow. Well, let me do it this way. This guy was loaded. I did this in a really ass backwards way. I realized this. Okay. I'm surprised we survived that. <laughs> oh, I'm so surprised we survived that. Point blank meta M4 versus Saiga is that's a rare fight to win. We gotta thank the fact that he's using peacekeeping armor. Yep. That's 240 meters. It doesn't is that exactly where it cuts off? Alright, this guy's got gear. All right, I'm pretty sure he's down. Let's be sure, though. He's down. Well, let's see how geared he was. He looked like he had a suppressed SK at least with a backpack. So he could be just like... Best of the worst geared, you know what I mean? But looked like he had some kit from from afar. Thermals are hella far, uh, fun. They're very OP, but yo, chat wanted to see a thermal on a shotgun, so I'm delivering. But I typically don't use them because I find they end up becoming a crutch that you rely on. All right, this guy wasn't that geared. I mean, I mean, he was geared for his level, is what he was. Do, 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 do. And, uh, man. I don't know how we got him. His armor is, like, completely okay, unless it was a headshot. Yo, we got defective. Thanks for the prime sub, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm using AP-20 just indefinitely. If his face shield was up, it means that we probably hit it, because it was, uh... Oh. 
Left to right down there. Shotgun sniper seems wrong. Yeah, it's not, uh... Oh god. Pretty sure that's the guy I heard. Let's, uh, let's push it. Could be a peacekeeping mission, yep. There he is. And he's like a... He's amongst the wood piles right now. Uh-oh. Ha! <laughs> well. That was a good shot. I will admit. I will toot my own horn. That was a good shot. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So this guy is definitely doing peacekeeping mission. This guy's like living in regret though, because he had an attack too, it looked like. This guy's gonna be high level and probably just like completing some missions because he wants to do it. Oh God. I land the hard shot and can't... Oh, why is it up to 150 meters? Oh. I land the hard shot, can't kill a scab standing still. Can't do it. Get the one that matters, can't get the one that doesn't. Ridiculous, man. But I did have the zero at uh, to 150. I don't know why. I feel like that's why we got the kill, man. Because it was zeroed up and then he jumped into it. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. Whoa, no! No way! No, this guy fucking hates me! It's the same guy from before! From the last raid! And we got him with the fucking- Oh, man! Oh, dude. The same guy. It's the same dude. It's the exact same guy. No way. Well, drop his gear. That's fair. I mean, God damn it. That's wild. That's so bad. So bad. Oh man. But there's something good about killing a guys with jailbreak M force that I, I usually have no sympathy for. So on one hand, I feel bad. I killed him twice in a row without really stupid saga but um on the other hand uh he is using jailbreak m4s which i feel like i always makes me very happy killing those guys so yeah i don't know what's a jailbreak m4 uh it's close to best in slot m m4 i don't think this one is but um it's it's well it's we'll, we'll put it this way it's the ultimate chad gun uh why don't i like it i don't know I'm just like kind of overseeing it being used all the time. I play this game so much that it's just like, oh, yet another like level 40, 50 player with a meta M4. Huh. How many hours I got? Oh, probably like 4,000 something. Probably 4,000 hours. The guy, there's a player up here. You guys ready to lob some baseballs? Could be a player scab though. I don't think that's a scab. That seemed like a player to me. 
In fact, that guy could be leaving through the other side of the, the cabin. Yeah, probably like 3,500, close to 4,000. Not good. Zero stamina here, so I'm going to try to get some back. This guy has way more gear than I ever expected him to. I think he's dead, but just to be sure. Yeah, he took some bullets there. He's got something. He's got at least class four body armor on. He was absorbing them shots. All right, where are you, body? There we go. <clears throat> At least class four body armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, oh. Oh, he did. Okay. Whoops. He did. Okay. Let me take that back. He actually did. I was gonna say it is class four. Because the, the, that's the one problem with these slugs, is uh, they struggle to go through class fours. Oh, he's got some 50... Yeah. He actually did. I thought he was naked. And I just sucked. But yeah, we pretty much zeroed out his body armor. That guy's got some gear. PK06 on the MP133. Got some, got some good gear. That's like a million rubles. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for some more action with the melee gun game or the Viking gun challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. There's lots of stuff I got to share with you guys. Way crazier plays, different weapon builds. I promise it's not all going to be shotgun stuff. But thank you guys for watching. If you are new, consider subscribing or watching my live streams. Monday through Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. A link to that will be included in the description box below. And I also have a really exciting merch announcement. I will be working with Bunker Branding to deliver some cool Deadly Slob merch for you guys. And details on that will be coming out very soon. Bunker Branding is an amazing company, one of the best in the business when it comes to producing merchandise for influencers and content creators. So to be a part of that is just incredibly exciting and I can't wait to share with you guys some of that in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.